Hello again, and thanks for joining us uh, today. Today I have with me Tom Constantine, who was recently appointed as our Director of Emergency Management. And what I wanted to talk with you about today, Tom, is the Schenectady County Volunteer Evacuation Registry. Um, as you know, a few years ago we put this in place. Um, we had some power outages and some flooding problems, and um, we wanted to make sure that we could get to people who needed assistance. I found within my own community in Iskina there were people who had uh, medical apparatus, had needed assistance with oxygen and things of that nature. And a power outage um, or a flooding situation really became that more uh, that much more dangerous for people who are in that situation. So we wanted to put um, that registry together in order to help people who were seniors or others who had special needs um, who needed a little extra help if they needed to move from their home because of uh, you know some problem we were experiencing in the community. And I know you have a lot of experience with this. You've been both a fire commissioner and, um, and also on the Niskina Police Force right. for many years. So you were probably the person actually, um, you know, knocking on those doors and helping some of the people who were in that situation. So I wondered if you might tell us a little bit about your background and, um, and then talk about the program a little bit. Thank you, Susan. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, it's difficult to talk about my background. As you're aware, I come from a public safety, mm -hmm. a law enforcement background. Uh, my father was with the state police. Drug Enforcement Administration, and then spent years in Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm. I also have a brother that's a supervisory agent with the FBI who's currently serving in Iraq. And as you're aware, I spent 20 years with the Niskina Police Department. Right. Uh, I believe we're fulfilling and successful 20 years. I retired as a detective sergeant. Mm -hmm. uh, when I left, I was the uh, officer involved of all major criminal activi activity within the town of Niskayuna. I was assigned to the Zone 5 Law Enforcement Academy where I was a general topics instructor in areas such as defensive tactics, uh, weapons of mass destruction, physical fitness, and just any topic that, uh, you know, the, the academy felt that I could fill a void uh, with, with the recruits and officers representing over 50 police agencies, uh, th you know, throughout the Capital District. Well, so many of us know you in, in the the capacity of you know being everywhere around town helping people with their problems as they come up but probably wouldn't know of your work at zone five and some of the other things that you've done in your career up until this point probably not but i was also the officer in charge of our uh, uh, year 2000 uh, applications in the town of Nisku, and i was appointed to that through uh, uh, retired chief mark salahab and uh, we were very successful in our operations and worked uh, closely with uh, Schenectady County and making sure the town of Nishkino was safe uh, for, for a Y2K. Right, and you, I imagine when you're in a, a sort of a small force, um, you have to be pretty innovative. And I think I've seen some of the signs that you were able to secure a grant for around town that reminds us to slow down or how fast we're going. Right. And, which is, you know, is a big concern of everybody in this unit, how yes, fast people are driving. Speed and stop street. signs in this unit. Exactly, right. exactly. Um, but, but all of those things add up, you know, to really help keep a community safe. And now you're in a new role, so we're looking to you um, to keep us safe as a county, especially during uh, times of emergencies. Yes. So maybe you could talk a little bit about the registry and uh, who's on the registry, who should be on the registry. Yes, the, uh, the evacuation registry is a database that's open to uh, all registered Schenectady County residents. Mm -hmm. uh, we currently have over 700 residents uh, on that registry that have either filled out their registration form mm -hmm. or have contacted us via phone. And that registration uh, database includes uh, important information such as your address, uh, your fire department or fire district in which you reside, uh, any medical information that may be pertinent uh, besides just the name of your primary care physician. Mm -hmm. Medical information such as uh, use of a wheelchair, uh, oxygen machines that may be in need of use, mm -hmm. and just general overall information that will greatly assist uh, the first responder. Uh, that may be the, obviously the uh, first right. one at your residence. Because a lot of us, you know, can just simply get in our car, we can go to a relative's house, we can 
you know, maybe check into a hotel if we need to. Right. But there, there are many people who, when that situation comes up, it can become very difficult. It's very difficult. And a disaster of any type, whether it's man-made or natural, as we experienced this past December, can come and can, uh, you know, with, can be upon us with very little warning. Right. And having that evacuation process in place for our residents will greatly assist them in knowing where they need to go, whether it, they need to be taken to a family's residence mm -hmm. or if they need to be taken to a shelter. So right. that's information that that first responder, whether it's the fire or law enforcement, uh, will need to know. Right, and I think that's important to know that the peop they're still um, you know, in charge of what's going to happen. So b if you register, it doesn't mean that you know, we're going to show up and take you someplace that you wouldn't want to be. Um, so the, you're still in charge of that, but we just want the information so that we can assist you. We can assist them. Yes, they are still in charge. We're not, uh, we won't be responding to your residents to bring you to a location that uh, is not conducive to your, to what you need right. in your facilities or your faculties, you know, so we'll be assisting you and where you want to go. Right, and it's a, you know it's always a stressful um, situation too, and I imagine when you're in law enforcement, um, I know one of the things we think about in county government is are there people there that need help, and we're not helping them, right. and um, you know a lot of people during the power outages think well, you know, it, maybe it's only going to be a few more hours, and in the last case it definitely wasn't a few more hours right. for for a significant number of people in the county. Um, and so I, you know, I'm sure law enforcement and I know some of the fire companies also were out, you know, trying to get that message to people knocking on doors and um, this helps us to be a little bit yes. more prepared. And we have had this in place for a couple of years, but I know during the recent power outage, um, we had people who would contact us and say, you know, I'm in this situation and Schenectady County should have a program. So we want people to know that we do have a program that is in place. Um, you can find that program on our website, um, but also we want to use other methods such as this to get um, the message out to people. And maybe it isn't something you're going to need right away, or you're not thinking about it today, um, but six months from now your situation might change. And so I hope that people will remember if you call the county legislature, um, or go to the website. Right. Um, either one of those ways, we want to, you know, make sure that this program is available to you if and when you need it. Yes, it will be. And, um, you know, I think we're at a point right now. We've had a little. Uh, we're in spring. We're still picking up from the storms right. yeah, from last busy spring. from last winter, and uh, we have some melting going on now. And uh, you know, I think it's great that we have you. And uh, I think, you know, this will be a great next step in your career. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks very much. We want to thank you for joining us today. And again, if you do have further questions about this county program or any other county program, please contact the Schenectady County Legislature. Uh, you can find us at 388-4280. I want to thank Tom Constantine for joining us today and uh, for your efforts going forward. Thank you. Much appreciated. It's been a pleasure. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching today. I hope that you'll join us again for future broadcasts of Schenectady County Community News as we show what a great place Schenectady County is to live, work, and raise a family.